Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see all of you today. Well, it's time for some more Mac Warrior 5 Mac Engineering, and I've chosen to play the Cataphract Ea Muromets today. I wanted to try one of my uh, patented builds, a Frankenfract, with the appropriate customization pattern. Just look at this thing. It looks a little bit scary. It also looks like a huge knuckle dragger, but uh, we'll see that later on in the game. This is the loadout here, guys, that I've chosen. Two AC5s and an AC10, which is not that different from what this thing comes with, but of course the devil is always in the details. Now, what did I do? I removed the small laser, I removed both medium lasers, and I opted to go for more ammo. I reckon that with the AC5s and the AC10s, you've got a range of about 500 meters and that's your perfect engagement range. And all those small lasers, they don't really add much and here is why. You've got, what is that? Maybe 12.5, 13 damage per shot at a range of 250, but you cannot afford to have this amount of Daka without any additional cooling plus the lasers. So, since you're weight limited with your 70 tons, I chose to just basically remove the lasers and add more ammo instead. As you can see, we have not added a single heatsink to this mech. I reckon we won't need it, but uh, <laughs> we might also regret this decision. But that would also mean that the standard loadout is even hotter than uh, I fear. Now, for the armor, of course, we went with maximum armor on everything because uh, this game is a war of attrition, so you need to have as much armor as possible. It's just not a, a good move in MechWarrior 5 to run around with uh, less armor than um, actually available. Okay, I would say that's enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump right into the match. It is going to be a Warzone mission, uh, 75 at difficulty. We're a little bit under tonnage here. We've got uh, an Orion, a Thunderbolt, and an Atlas with us. The Orion is a protector, and the Atlas is a boar's head, because I wanted something uh, a little bit more beefy to frontline for us. At least that's my plan. Let's see if the AI cooperates. Ah, beautiful. And need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long so, as possible. So let's make a nice firing group here. We firing have an group opportunity one. For a hefty bonus, firing group the two. We can hold the back. And firing group three is just the arms. All right. So, uh, 64 KPH in this mech feels nice. Let's see how the torso maneuverability is. Uh, torso can maneuver 90 degrees in each direction. That's nice. It's got full 180 visibility as opposed to the battle master. Let's go ahead and try to find a target here, like a javelin. Ooh, beautiful. Ah. You see the first thing already? I would probably go ahead and uh, unlink the AC-10 and the AC-5, because they have different firing speeds and different weapon speeds, so it might be better. Just shoot them, like so. Even though Alpha Strike is pretty feasible at this range. Boom. Ah, it's a cicada. Of course it's a cicada. It's always a cicada. Uh -huh. So I think um, you have to get used to the different firing speeds here of the AC-5 and the AC-10. And also different recycle speeds. Because that way you won't miss any shots. This guy's just got a circle strafe us like crazy. Be annoying like that. But we take away his leg and now we take away his life. 15 damage every shot is pretty nice. Um, of course you have to hit. <laughs> um, the helicopter is majestically dying here. Boom! Right in the kisser. Okay. As you can see, we're already orange on one arm. And we haven't even killed the first wave. This was just the this was just the initial greeting um, party, so to speak. So uh, we'll see how our armor all adds up in the end. I'm gonna go ahead, get on top of this mountain here. Because it is a nice spot to snipe from. Remember, we've got 500 ish meters range. There is the first enemy lance coming in. Let's send our guys over here. We're on the move. And let's start shooting some guys. Enemy eliminated. I'm at the location, Commander. Oh, another one coming in. So, of course, you have to lead your target a little bit, otherwise, you won't be able to hit them at this range. But, this is not looking too bad, I would say. For maximum Daka, you want to hold down your mouse button, of course. There we go. I'm gonna go for the Harrison next. Ah, never mind, I'm gonna go for the next Harrison. 
missed. Ah, I stand hit. Now we take down this guy. So my dreams of becoming a turret are slowly being realized. Slowly but surely. Go harass somebody else, Harasa. Ah, that was a miss. Let's try and see if we can keep on this cicada. Okay, that's better. They're basically trying to anticipate where it's moving and move you across there accordingly. Let's get the guys over here. I'm going to move over yonder. Twist a little bit to the left. There we go. That's less than 20 carrier. And it's gone. That's gone, the hunchback now. It's a learn hunchback, okay. Ah, <laughs> the glorious Ducker cannons. And since it is not burst fire or anything, it's just boom, boom, boom. Just blows upon blows, raining upon the enemy. Love it. I just have to be more accurate. I wish I had higher zoom, actually. That's one of the biggest problems I have right now. So that I can see the enemy better. And I know there's a Phoenix Hawk on me, I'm just ignoring him right now. Because I want to get this guy dead. Okay, here we go. You guys can kill him. I'm gonna kill the VTOL here. Beautiful. Let's go for the arms here on the Phoenix Hawk. Or his back. If he just turns it to me. Destroy. Additional hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. All right. With the lance. So, once again, we go this other way. We we'll stay up top here, and we will keep engaging these gentlemen. Show them what we're made of. Got an assassin here. Let's go on the dragon. I have to wait a little bit though. Send the guys after the uh, assassin. I'm gonna try. Uh, Fail to hit locust. Ah, that was a hit, but not with everything. I'm just sitting in the AC5s, I feel. Oh, that was a teammate. Sorry. Ah, it's getting better. <laughs> Locust leg sniping. Feels like a weird sport. The thing is, you know why this light mech is so good right now? He's wasting a lot of time that I could spend shooting other targets. That is a huge problem. That's what, one of the strengths of the light mechs is they actually take away the firepower from the other guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, deal with this stupid helicopter. Or not. Ah, uh, I can't twist far enough. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's see. Where's my locust? There we go. Now we finally can deal with the dragon. Of course, the full lance shooting him. He shouldn't have belonged for this world. I just shot, shot under his armpit. Aye, aye, aye. If you're trying to go for max damage, guys, you need to be a little bit closer, I feel, so that you have the ability to have an easier time aiming. Other than that, you will spray and pray a lot of the, over the enemy. Which can be a problem. But he should be dead here. There we go. Okay. Two more waves, I feel. How is our ammo? Huh? Oh. I'm also looking good, AC5 is good kid. Uh, the AC10, uh, 46 shots. So we're a little bit low on AC10 here. Oh, there's a Thunderbolt coming in. And an Assassin and a Quick Drop. Let's go for the Quick Drop first. Okay, never mind. Go for the Assassin first, because the Assassin is going for me. I just hit him very nice on the CT, so that's good. Uh, we're getting attacked by a helicopter here. Got him. Let's fall back a little bit. Um, now we take out the scorpion. Damage. I need help. Yep, Go that on. is the uh, Atlas, I feel. Right on lost. Nope, Thunderbolt. Okay, let's get the J Edgar. And finally the Thunderbolt. I would like to go in and tank a little bit more, but I think the Onion Protector is the one that needs to be up front. He's not tanking as much as he could be. Which is interesting, because he's got medium lasers, so in theory he should be a little bit closer to the fight. Let's kill this guy. There we go. That should be the last wave here. Let's get the guys over here. The Orion goes over here. Come on, the guys get over here. Here and the Orion goes over here. Okay. 
Whew. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Is the cicada coming in? Of course, of course it's a cicada. It's always a cicada. Remember guys, it's always a cicada. Oh, also helicopter. Okay, helicopter's done. Let's keep focusing on the cicada. The cicadas are just built to annoy, it feels. Um, what we have here is a scorpion. Ah, almost. He's down. He's down. And now we focus on the Orion. Boom, boom. They have a nice sound. I like the, I like the sound of the auto cannons. But so far... Ooh, okay. Yeah. That was the sound I was dreading, the ammo low sound. But the good thing is we can shoot this guy in the back now. Just easy said than done. But we will chase him. Oh, he's exploding! Stop exploding, you cowards! There we go, he's done. Last guy. Rifle man. Ooh, my Thunderbolt is still alive for some reason. I don't know how, I don't know why, but he's still alive. So let's not ask questions. Let's look at the gift horse in the mouth. Let's just go ahead and kill that rifleman. Who doesn't want to die, apparently? Now he's dead. Okay. Every kill from here out is bonus pay. Yeah. As long as you like, I wonder how the Thunderbolt is doing. Let's see. Can Enemy I click on him? Oh. <laughs> he's still got weapons. Um, but he's missing a leg and some arms. Okay. Let's see how the Orion did in the end. Orion is good. Just armor damage at the Atlas. So even the Atlas still has a full complement of weapons. The boar set would be such an amazing mech. Um, if only for the AC-10 slot, instead of the AC-20. I feel that's just a huge let down, because that also blocks you from using a Gauss Raffle. And that, that is sad. So, let's get out of here and see how we did, but I think this mech actually performed quite well. Um, we still have about the... Oh, actually, now we just lost our Thunderbolt. Just got shot in the back, because of uh, far away pickup points, but we're used to that, so it's okay. We sacrificed the Thunderbolt. So long, buddy. We will miss you. At least until the next episode. Because you're a generic pilot and you can be replaced now. 20 kills, 4 air units, 10 vehicles, 6 mechs, 209 damage taken. Of course, least damage taken because you got a turret. 1500 damage dealt. And we still had about, what was it, 100 shots left for the AC5. Plus 20 or so AC10. So this thing has the potential to do about, I'd say, 2000, 2500 damage. That is pretty solid. That is pretty solid. It's just straight up Inosphere Daka, no nothing, no fancy stuff. Um, I like the build. I like the build. It's interesting. It's it's something different that you don't see that often. So go ahead, guys. If you see the Iyamura Mets in a shop, buy it. Try out this build and let me know how it goes. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button as always. And of course, do check out my Patreon page. Link in the description below. Become an active member of Team TTB. Take care, guys. Have a great day and bye-bye.